Two receivers up to her right as well. She looks to one of them. It's passed over and it's, she's met right away by Vixen player number 40. That's Ace Tyson with a huge hit and a loss of about four yards. And Tyson has this snuffed out real quickly into the sequence for the Boston. Bonds waits for the snap. This time it's a quick handoff to number 45. That's, I'm sorry, 46, Tudy Kusinen, who finds a hole on the right-hand side. And she is finally dragged out of bounds. On well, Tudy Kusinen. Being the quarterback. Takes the snap. She finds a hole. And boom, right away. That's a touchdown for the Boston Renegades by number 46, Tudy Kusinen. Kick is up. Going Sam Barber's way. Sam Barber does not able to clean it, field it cleanly. But he'll pick up the ball, and she is met almost instantly. Taken down by number six, Renati Meckel. With Alex West at Boston Renegades on their second possession of the game. And right away, it's a pitch off to the left-hand side to number 46, Tudy Kusinen, who is responsible for our score so far today. With the pace of the NFL. So the snap is up right away. It's handed to Ruth Mata. And Ruth Mata is met instantly this time by the Minnesota Vixen. That looks like number 93, Britta Clark, with the stop for a loss. A nice move there by Britta Clark on the defensive line. They do a really good job of getting pending. Waits for the snap. Snap is up. And you mentioned Grace Cooper. And this time, Grace Cooper gets the ball. And she finds a hole up the middle and picks up a first down for the Minnesota Vixen. Well, there were rumors that Grace Cooper was going to make an appearance in this championship game. Sure enough, great handoff here. This is what makes Cooper so gain on that play. So second down and seven. Grace Cooper back in. Grace Cooper finds a hole. She gets a good block. Grace Cooper still on her feet, looking for another block from Segula. Segula knocks down a Renegade, and Cooper picks up the first down, finally chased out of bounds by Fournier of the Renegades. Snap is up. She drops back. She releases the ball. She's got a target in place of Radford with the pass was intercepted. Intercepted by number 14, Megan McFadden. Somebody should have told McFadden she would have been better off to knock that ball down as she would have had better field position than picking up that interception. And taking a look here to be the first turnover. Action on the field. They'll try to get that figured out. So right away, Shantae Bonds takes the direct snap. She gets a hole up the left-hand side of the field after a couple good blocks, and she's able to get another first down for the Boston Renegades before she was dragged down by Ace Dyson. The Women's Football Alliance. The snap is up. Shantae Bonds keeps it herself. Gets a good block. Finds a hole up the middle. She's running down. She's only got 10 yards to go. Five and in for a Boston Renegades touchdown. And that is exactly why you have to respect the running ability of Shante Bonds. A touchdown on the... Puts Radford in motion. Quick little pitch to Radford. Radford's going the wrong way down the field, and she's going to pay for it as she's met by number 53, Deanna Walsh. Megan Dixon's punt is off. Bounces up into the hands of Shannon Singletary. Singletary looking for a few blocks. Finds one up the left. Gets another one up the center of the field. She's only got the punter to beat. The, and she is able to get there. And Dixon prevents Singletary from getting into the end zone by dragging her down at the 30-yard line. Back position. Ball is handed off to Mata. Mata gets a good block on the left-hand side. She's looking for another one. She's got only one person to beat, and she does get down where she's finally dragged down by her ankles by Ace Dyson, but not before the two-yard line. Great block by Adrian Smith. Doesn't get the job done for Minnesota defensively. And right away, the handoff to Ruth Mata on the left-hand side. She finds a hole in for the Renegades touchdown. I don't think it's been Minnesota. High snap. Kelly throws it to her left. She is met immediately. Segula there and taken down by number five, Santia Creech. This season, Brian. So the handoff right away. Haas up the center. She's taken down this time by number 23, Spring Gamble. First down. Nap is up. She hands it to Washington Ware. Washington Ware met instantly by Hillary Crook of the Boston Renegades who gets her by the ankles and pulls her to the ground after about a gain of maybe one. Bonds takes the snap. 
Finds a big hole on the left side of the field. That's Katherine Falkowski, who finally is tripped up under her own momentum, where she falls down at the 34-yard line. It's a fresh set of downs for the Boston Renegades, first and 10. Snapped up right away. Hand off to Falkowski. Falkowski making her move on the right-hand side this time. Taken down by Ace Thyssen, who tries to strip the ball away as she's going down, but not anything to have of it, says Ruth Mata on that one. Well, the Boston Renegades starting to exert their will here on this Minnesota defense. Yard line. It's a fake. It's a snap. Kusinen finds a big hole. Picks up another first down for the Renegades. Bonds waits for the snap. Turns around. This time she hands it to Falkowski. Falkowski, nobody in front of her on the left side of the field. A Renegades Boston. touchdown. Grace Cooper back in the game. Good to see. This pass is complete to Sam Barber. Sam Barber gets a good block. She's got a hole on the left. She's going to make her cut all the way to the right. Gets it up into the center. This time she's taken down with a good lunge forward by number 47, Erica Adams. And this is the... Snap is up, snap is bobbled, handed off to Cooper. Cooper picks it up, Cooper gets forward for about a yard, maybe back to the original line of scrimmage. Looks like she actually might have lost a yard on that play. Something on the board. Kelly with a quick pass. It's complete to Kaya Segula over on the right-hand side. Kaya Segula is going to make it into the end zone, get the Minnesota Vixen on the board with their first touchdown of the game. Corey Daling on to attempt the extra point for the Vixen. That one is blocked. And bounces out of the side of the stadium. Bonds keeps the snap herself, looks for the hole, pauses on the left-hand side, finds a hole on the right. She's only got one person to beat. She's running to the left. She's 10 yards out, five and in for her second touchdown of the game. Number 21, Shante Bonds of the Renegades. From 49 yards out, goes in for the Boston Renegades. Touchdown. We'll see for the next 365 days. This point after attempt is blocked and it is picked up by the Minnesota Vixen. That's Jamie Salone that's trying to run with the ball. She's got everybody helping her move down the field. She wanted to get to that end zone with the ball. Jamie Salone with some great effort. Well, if you're looking for... Kick is up. It's retrieved by Kaya Segula. Kaya Segula is looking to get some blocks. She's got some people in front of her, two and thrown. Taken down there by number 19, Lisa Vincent. So we just saw Ashante Bonds on that season. Kelly takes the snap. This time it's a handoff to number 40, Ace Thyssen, something we haven't seen today. Thyssen goes running hard to pick up the first down for the Minnesota Vixen. Just full steam ahead into number 37, Shine Alliance. She can, she's, you know, talks to the coaches. She says, you know, that she's really willing to learn. That pass is complete to Sam Barber. Sam Barber runs up the middle of the field, picks up another first down for the Minnesota Vixen, gets him down to the 15 yard line where it'll be first and 10. Haas standing to the left. Really quick, Radford with the completion. Radford reaching for the end zone, and it's a touchdown for Jackie Radford, number 81 of the Minnesota Vixen. Well, Jackie Radford, another... The American Conference MVP for the Minnesota Vixen is Sam Barber. And now, the MVP for the National Conference and the Boston Renegades is Shante Bonds. Now presenting the American Conference Trophy to our 2022 American Conference champions, the Minnesota Vixen. And now, OKC, for the fourth consecutive season, 
our WFA Pro Division National Champions with another undefeated record, the Boston Renegades!